Well, the U.S. is out of money for Ukraine, unable to send the ammunition and missiles that the government in Kyiv wants unless Congress acts fast. That is not even going to start this week. Both sides are drawing lines in the sand even before negotiations on a foreign aid package, including border security, are wrapped up. Capitol Hill correspondent Eric Rosales has the latest. Good evening, Tracy. For the first time, the Biden administration came empty handed as it hosted a monthly meeting for about 50 nations that coordinate support for Ukraine. Meanwhile, up here on Capitol Hill, Senate negotiators continue to drudge through the slow process of drafting a bill to fund border security, aid to Ukraine and Israel, along with humanitarian assistance to Palestinians. Now this work is not easy. In fact, it's one of the hardest things the Senate has undertaken but also one of the most important. This is a situation that cries out for American leadership, not only protecting our own border, but helping our allies abroad. The bill would provide about $110 billion in aid to Ukraine and Israel, as well as overhauling the U.S. immigration system. Several Republicans say they have yet to see the language, but add they can't trust the Biden administration will even implement new border provisions. I'm just not convinced some language change uh, you're going to have a come to Jesus moment with Joe Biden to somehow enforce border laws. Let's get it all out in the open. Let's get the text out there. Let people have a point of view. Republicans say constituents simply don't care for sending more money to Ukraine. They care about securing America's own border along with high inflation. Senator Tommy Tuberville tells me tying more Ukraine money to the border is something he won't support. We should do Taiwan, Ukraine, and Israel all different. Uh, and But they want to tie it into one where they can make sure that they they get the vote that they want. But it shouldn't be that way. Senator Angus King, a Maine independent, warns that not providing any aid to Ukraine would hurt the U.S. for generations. We've got to talk about Ukraine, though. If we don't do Ukraine aid, it will be a geopolitical mistake that will haunt this country for 50 years. And what if hardline conservatives in the House object to the Senate pass deal? And if House Republicans refuse to take it up, to consider it and pass it, then they will own responsibility for another year in which millions of people um, suffer the journey of coming to our southern border uh, only to be either turned away or ultimately deported. The future of foreign aid and a border package is still very much up in the air. Senate Republicans are having a closed-door meeting today about Ukraine aid. Support for Ukraine is losing popularity among GOP lawmakers, especially over in the House. And some Democrats want conditions of any money sent to Israel. At the Capitol, Eric Rosales, EWTN, News Nightly.